I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I ain't in it, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, Call the shorty off a fan and start Just the one I'm really is a crash on Way that I've been living, I've been finishing on I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed on Think we need to have a sun and finish up I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to gold Rather see my heart turn crystal Inside a crib on my own Soon as I freak up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me So today is Monday and it's the start of a new week so I went ahead, unloaded the dishwasher, made me some tea, and popped these croissants that I've been dying to try in the oven. So if you watched my previous vlog, I went to Trader Joe's and I got the chocolate croissants my first time trying them. So basically what I had to do is I had to leave the croissants like on the counter, like room temperature, like for overnight basically. It was like nine hours, but it's basically like overnight because as they thaw out, they get poofy and poofy. So y'all, um, so y'all, so y'all saw me put them in the oven. So I'm currently waiting for those. I already got my morning tea. So I do work a nine to five. So I am getting ready to get on my computer and see what, you know, work has to offer this week. Hopefully it's better than last week. It was like so crazy. Like I literally like was so mentally drained from last week. I didn't even open up my laptop all weekend and that's unusual for me. I was just kind of like, I can't. Like I'm tired of looking at this laptop. Oh Lord have mercy. Today drained me. Even though I have like a personal laptop from a wear laptop, but laptop was a laptop at that point. So it's a new week. I'm ready to tackle this week. So today is pretty much going to be like a chill day. Um, I think I'm going to for dinner lunch. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cook the uh, Trader Joe's uh, barbecue teriyaki chicken that I got from Trader Joe's. So I want to see how it tastes, and then I have like some jasmine rice and the uh, cabinet. So I'll either do jasmine rice or I might do brown rice to kind of keep it healthy. So we'll just see where the wind blows me, and then I need to really like get my feet done. So I might go and do that today. Like I had to put like acrylic on my big toe, one of my big toes, because. I don't know what it is with me and my feet, y'all, but things keep happening. So somehow I cracked this whole nail, and so it was so cracked. So what they did was just did like a thin layer of acrylic overlay just to kind of like smooth the nail out and help it as it grow. So somehow I like chipped a big chunk of the side of my toenail, and I don't know how I did that. Um, Y'all stuff is always happening to my feet. So I want to go get a pedicure and get the fresh um, painted toes. Maybe see if I can get this acrylic off. But y'all just looking down here at my feet and it just looks atrocious. I mean, good thing about it is like when I'm out and about, you know, you do a quick glance. You can't really tell, but I can tell. So, I think I might go get my feet done today just so I can get a fresh. And then I am going to today, finally, I was supposed to do it yesterday. But, y'all, I'm impressed with these Gel X nails. Like, granted, I mean, don't look too closely. Like, I need to work on my painting skills. But the fact that these are the same set that I put on, like, the week of me leaving for D.C. to go to Broccoli Fest, these are these same nails. 
<laughs> like they're still on here so that was one of my biggest things that I was worried about when I started doing when I first did the jellies I was wondering like how long are they actually gonna stay like are they really gonna be on here that long are they gonna be popping off like the little press zones but baby when I tell you these nails are still here and I think it's like going on like three weeks y'all and the nails still here so I will be using these gel X <laughs> for a while like these are a money saving tip like bruh like I I'm just kind of like well, why I didn't know about this sooner so yeah and the nail already like um pre-shaped so I don't have to do any shaping or anything of these nails these are perfect size for me like the perfect length I love this length it works well for me i still have nail but it's not too long so i am going to finally like try to soak these off um two of these nails already came off and this one like this one's like tender or whatever because i smashed this one in the car garage and actually i smashed like all three of these so this one barely like this nail cracked like it cracked so much that my, my finger was bleeding so this one's on this healing journey so that's why this one came off because the nail is like really unstable as you can see it's growing back and then like this one, i don't know why this one popped off i guess you know you always have that one nail that you know come off but uh for the most part like i'm pretty impressed with the nails so i think i'm gonna try to do my nails today at some point try to soak these off i don't know what color i'm gonna get i got a couple of different colors so i'm gonna work on that getting my fresh set of nails as well as as well as i think i'm gonna go to the nail salon to get my pedicure so i'll check in with you guys throughout the day hey guys so i just finished my workout oh my god i haven't worked out in like oh maybe like a month and a half i'm gonna say like sometime like before memorial um starting to finally like feel better not dealing with um flare-ups i'm able to like get up and i wanted to consistently see like in the morning time am i having flare-ups because i didn't want to like schedule a morning class and then i can't you know i can't make the class so um i waited for a little bit just to kind of see how i've been doing and i've been doing pretty good no uh major uh flare-ups in the morning so it's like all right it's time for me to get back to working out in the morning time getting active because when i'm you know working remotely at home every day i don't walk as much as i 
would when I was working in the office. Like, I mean, I would get up, walk around a building, walk downstairs, walk to my friend's desk, chit chat with them, walk back to my desk, get some work done. And like here, I'm at home every day. I've been working remote since the pandemic and it's not a lot of movement going on. So I have to really be intentional about walking. Um, I'm considering getting a like an under the desk like treadmill kind of thing where I can kind of walk and work so I don't know I'm either I'm considering that or I'm considering I like um when I go to scope house they use these wooden they're, these curved treadmills and they're uh user power you don't need to plug them in or whatever so I'm considering like investing in one of them the only thing is is you can't really hide it when you have company over so it'll kind of like be in a way so I don't know but I need to do something like more um, than just my morning workouts I need to make sure I like active and stuff um, I really want to like take a long walk but y'all I don't know if some of y'all are in Georgia, but it is hot. Like, it is so hot. Like, you got that heat where you just go outside, for, <laughs> you just walk outside, and immediately you feel that stifled heat. Like, it's just so, like, hot. So, yeah, but I've been really getting in tune with trying to uh, go back to uh, my 80-20 rule of just eating clean 80% of the time. And you know, all you know, things happen for a reason. I've been talking about getting in shape, cutting back alcohol, and now with my new medication, I really just don't really have a choice but to cut back. But cutting back with alcohol will actually help me with my my fitness goals and just improve my overall health of my body. So I guess God said, you know, when when you don't listen then God finds a way to make you listen. So I guess this is God's way of finding a way to make me listen. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I'm about to rush home and get showered, take the dog out, Mr. Patronus, or shall I say King Patronus, cause he be sitting on them pillows. Like he like, you know, about to declare a decree or something. <laughs> but yeah i'm about to head home and just shower and take him out and then begin my work day yesterday i was so tired i just didn't um go get my nails done i just didn't really want to leave the house and then too like i had some other business things to take care of um as some of you all know i run a social group here in atlanta so i needed to send out some email letters um get our events created in our group um just some a little bit of housekeeping things and then two i wanted to i needed to write a blog post i do blogging so um i'm practicing being more intentional so um i kind of got like a new new spark of inspiration um from blogging and i'm trying to get to the point where i'm posting at for right now i want to post my goal is to post two posts a week so i was doing that consistently uh <laughs> for a month or whatever and then i went on vacation and then i'm like oh my god i need to write a post but you know it's not like i haven't written a post due to laziness it's just a lot of things that have been happening in my life like i went to vacation i picked up a part-time job i also picked up a, a new client i'm managing their social media and then i'm being more intentional with my business which is my blog um putting out content for YouTube and uh, growing my Instagram. So it's a lot of things, but I have a goal. Like in the next, I want to say two, three years, I want to reevaluate my business and see if this is something that I can do full time and not 
full time in addition to my corporate job. So I really would love, you know, to more and more like <laughs> it's funny because I never saw myself as being an entrepreneur. Um, I was just kind of like, eh, I'll just work. But I enjoy um, my business. I enjoy social media, digital marketing, blogging. Uh, more importantly, I enjoy like working for me and my creating my own schedule. Like every day I have to work this Monday through Friday. I'm like, mm. <laughs> ideally for me, I only want to work Tuesday through Thursday. Okay. <laughs> like that's my ideal schedule so i'm putting in all this hard work so that way i can you know consider you know moving into this full-time retiring early because even though i look young i am not that young as people think so yeah so i hope you guys are having a great day guys so I am here at Regent Rx to do some self-care and I am going to get done some IV therapy but here is a list right here of what they offer and I'm going to be doing my video for Instagram so yeah guys Oh my god, I went the wrong fucking way. And I've actually been in this area before, so I'm like, kind of like, wow. Can't believe I went the wrong way. All right, guys, so we made it inside of region. Look how cute it is. Hi. 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 Do like our facials, hide your facials. Um, yeah. Y'all heard her. This is the esthetician room. Come get y'all facials. Mm -hmm. Our nurses prep and where we keep all our supplies. Okay. Things like that. So, this is her here where she gets comfortable, where we, uh, you know, we take weight. Uh, we start IV thing, our blood pressure chair. Um, you know, everything medical is in here. Okay. Uh, this is our laser hair removal. And then we have another esthetician room right here. Um, you know, I don't know if you want to take a picture of that or not, but yeah. Um, then we do have another room right here. This is right now, it's just my storage room. But eventually, we will be doing um, body treatments in here. Okay. We will do the body contouring it. Oh, like uh, laser lipo and... Yeah, um, not laser lipo, but... Um, like the wood therapy and the um, lymphatic drainage. Okay. This is the bathroom. This is uh, the lip filler room where we do fillers, um, chin, cheek, nasal labia folds, um, under eye filler. And this is just another extra room. It's just like for the overage of where people need to come be. Okay. We have another bathroom right here. And then this is the IV lounge. Had a long day. Sure. I have all the sex part. Okay. I have to cut back on my alcohol. Yo, this is nice, y'all. Yeah. Like, this is smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Yeah. 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 This is nice.
Yeah, you would be surprised. <laughs> uh, when the doctor come in, he come and sit for hours. He sleeps in this chair right there. Yeah, I believe he's, it. He pulls up his computer to work. And then um, I can turn the TV on. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want to do to get comfortable. I can put on whatever type of music y'all like, or y'all can watch oh, TV. Oh, music is real good. Music good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. music good for sure. That's good. Nice, y'all. Let's see how we about to do some happy. Like yeah. um, before we do offer uh, all of our guests, we offer them drinks, um, complimentary wine, oh, wow. or, you know, shots, whatever they want. And then um, today I don't have it, but going forward, every customer will get a little bag of free goodies. I'll give I'll give you the goodies. I just don't have the bag with like, okay. the logo on it. Okay. But I'll give you all the pieces. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right, and you guys can just sit right there. Do you still have that item menu? You can pick which one you want to get. Oh yeah. If you uh, actually still want to get it, I don't know. It's up to you. Um. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Um, Alright, I'm gonna grab the thing for you. Bye bye. Y'all, we might do some IB therapy. Baby, baby. And look at the monitor. I feel like a king. Yeah.